Hello and welcome. This is Neil Hambly from Data Plus Train. Now, today we're going to be examining the new exam that came out of beta at the beginning of July. And this is going to be the DA100, the Microsoft certification for Power BI. Analyzing data with Microsoft Power BI is the official name of the course. Let's go and have a look at that. So here's the specific exam itself listed up. Let me kind of just take the title out so we can see everything there. This came out of beta at the beginning of July 2020. So a few people have already passed this certification, but the course that's aligned to this from Microsoft actually gets released on the 24th of July 2020. So we've got another few days, it's now the 20th, before we kind of see that course being available. Now, I'm going to be running two public courses for a limited number of students on this specific course, and it's a five-day delivery. I'm going to go through and show you the details right now of what's included. And if you're looking to gain a certification and you want to give yourself the best chance of passing, then take in either a combination of instructor-led courses, which we're going to explore now, or some of the self-learning pathway to kind of do your own learning at your own pace is an option you can take as well. So let's go and explore what we have and see if there's something there that you will want to kind of undertake as a course. So first off, we're going to click on this link here, which is the Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate Certification that you can get. So this is the new role base certification. This is replacing the previous kind of product based ones that were available. So the previous exam and course that we had was the 70-778 certification. Now, this is going to still be available for the rest of 2020 and I think until the end of January 2021 as well. So it was due to retire around about now, but they've given us a little bit more time due to the COVID uh, condition and people kind of, you know, maybe having some challenges with their training. So let's go and explore what we have. Now, if you want to look at the skills measured, we're going to explore that in more detail. And I've also got a blog post uh, and YouTube video that's available for you to go and review. And we're going to showcase where that YouTube video channel is. And it's called Data Plus Train. So this channel is devoted to data professionals that are looking to kind of, you know, take certifications, but also to improve their skills and understanding of the technologies, the tooling around that. So there'll be videos that we'll be posting around how to do things better with Power BI, SQL Server, the Azure world in terms of the different data technologies, uh, as well as data science as well. So we're going to cover a whole range of data platform and data scientist based tooling. And I'll show you where we kind of can access all those resources. So let's go and look at these skills measured first. We're going to zone in a little bit just to kind of see what we have here. So first off, we're kind of looking at the skills that can be measured in the certification. So it's preparing the data, modeling the data, visualizing that data as well. We have an analysis of the data. So kind of the types of things you would do as a individual that are kind of taking on the analyst type roles in organizations. And finally, we have some deployment and delivery of those reports and dashboards and assets around Power BI. Let's go and look in a bit more detail. So we're gonna drill through now into some more information. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill down into the skills measured to get some more granular detail of actually what's measured. Now, there's also a percentage of questions weighted for this exam. And we're going to go uh, and look at that a little more detail, kind of what's there. But to get an understanding of this, let's kind of zone in, a, uh, zoom in a little bit here. So let's make this a little bit bigger. You can see we have different sections. And one of those sections is prepare that data. And under there... We have a subsection, and one of these is get data from different data sources, profile the data, clean transform, and load the data, etc. And inside of each of those, we have some associated tasks that will be performed by data analysts kind of performing those tasks. So, for example, we might have choose an appropriate query type or use parameters. So you would need to kind of maybe have a good base understanding of the capabilities of the tool and look at these. So we can kind of download this and maybe do a review of our skill set and understand where we maybe have strengths and weaknesses. Now, this five-day course that we're going to be kind of outlining and looking through 
It has 13 modules covered over those five days. It's instructor led. So somebody like myself will be kind of leading that instruction, taking you through the lessons and the labs involved. And we're going to explore those in a second. But we want to kind of cover pretty much all of what's in this content here. So there's going to be additional videos through the Data Plus Train channel that's going to try and highlight and bring up like maybe use the common data service. We'll kind of do a, a, a video devoted to that, use parameters, another video. So you can kind of get the example. But that's going to be over maybe a six, 12 month window where we produce all these all these kind of videos for you. So if you want to kind of get a bit more of a kind of uh, a faster track to certification, then the five day certification is going to be available for you to kind of take starting in August, the dates of 17th to the 21st of August. It's a public course and it's limited to 15 students. So I'm going to have a maximum of 15 students in that class so I can devote enough time to questions and take each of the students through and understand, you know, challenges they may have. Let's kind of look at a bit more what's in this specific um, kind of role as well. So we have model the data, which is design a data model, develop a data model and create measures by using DAX and optimize the model performance. So there's quite a lot there. If you don't have experience with this technology, you're going to be able to kind of um, gain that and understand through some labs and instructions that we're going to do throughout those kind of five dates. And finally, uh, in this one also, we've got visualize the data. So that's creating those reports and dashboards. Creating uh, usability of that as well. So that might be things like sync slices and we've got bookmarks inside there. We've got exporting reporting capabilities. And then you're going to analyze the data once you've built those infrastructural pieces. You've got the data into the Power BI. You've been able to create all the relationships and model the database. You've created all the kind of visuals and, and interactions between that. And now you're looking at the data and analytics on that. So we've got some additional capabilities that came into Power BI that can allow us to do some more kind of in-depth analytics on that. So we're going to see what capabilities exist around that. And we've got some advanced analyst, uh, analytics as well, where we do something like AI insights. So we're doing artificial intelligence inside of Power BI. And finally, once you've got all that together, you're going to be able to deploy that, get your users to be able to access those reports, look at the performance characteristics, how well people are using those reports. So we've got all of this workspace and data management um, to do as well. So that's a quick high level view of what we have there. Let's go look at the course itself and look at the modules that we have. So as I said earlier, 13 different modules. So it's quite jam packed in terms of the data we have. We have a number of lessons and labs with inside each of those specific um, modules that we have. So the first one is an introduction one, of course, we kind of uh, set the stage of what Power BI is, its use cases, and how you can kind of bring that in and perform the task as a data analyst. We're then going to go and start using data. So we're going to get the profile in the data and getting that data. Where's the data held? Is it in Azure? Is it in CSVs? Is it in web data? What databases are we bringing data in for? So there's so many different sources of data we can go and grab. As part of the major journey of bringing data in, we're going to probably also transform and cleanse that data. So module three is all about kind of figuring out how we do that, how we load data into the Power BI desktop application, and how we kind of solve uh, some of the key issues that we may have when we're doing those specific tasks. The designing a data model is where we start kind of figuring out how this model is going to look, what the relationships are going to be inside that, and how we're going to be able to create things like quick measures and kind of look at the design from a performance standpoint. Module five is actually developing that model and kind of doing more in depth on the relationships, adding maybe role of security and figuring out how we do additional things like uh, many to many relationships and kind of doing things like calculation groups that might kind of be a new feature that's come out. We're going to use a product uh, feature called DAX, which is the data analytics expressions, expressions. And we're going to start creating these calculations and aggregates and figure out how we build additional functionality and statistical analysis inside of Power BI. So we're going to be kind of looking at that from simple to more complicated expressions and formulas. Of course, everything comes down to performance at the end of the day. Um, and one of the key things we're going to do is Power BI is extremely good at 
bringing data in and providing that really fast back out. But we're going to need to optimize that model performance as well by kind of looking at the different capabilities inside of that. So what are the kind of performance issues we may encounter and how do you resolve those? We're now getting into the world of creating reports. So this is module eight. This is where we start building those visualizations, kind of laying out the canvas and where the visuals are going to be, what type, how we kind of lay that out for functional design, etc. And that's a whole art in itself. But we're going to take you through a blank canvas through to a completed report there. We have module nine, which is enhancing the reports for usability. And this is going to kind of add navigation, bookmark capabilities, looking at how we kind of add in things like drill through and sync into other reports. So kind of how we do navigation between those. And there's a lot of functionality there. Once we have the reports built, we're going to upload that into the Power BI service. Now this is where we will bring um, additional functionality and we're going to create a dashboard. We're going to create um, elements of tiles inside of that. And we're going to put those into our dashboard. We then also got enhanced reports and applying the analytics. So this is additional kind of analysis over time, time series, creating scatter charts, looking at key influences and decomposition trees, and a lot more capabilities I'm describing now. Module 12 is all about sharing those assets with your fellow colleagues in your business. And how do we do that effectively with the right security and ensuring that we're kind of looking at how we kind of publish those apps, how we share a dashboard, what's role level security, how do we kind of perform all of those actions to go. And what we're gonna do is look at things called workspaces and how we collaborate with those. And finally, in the module 13, we're going to look at a kind of premium feature called paginated reports. That's kind of replacing something like SQL Server reporting services, where we had paginated report capability. And now we're going to be able to kind of add that functionality into Power BI. So these are some of the 13 modules we're gonna cover in that five day course. Let's go look at what we have available in terms of dates for these courses. So we have two public dates kind of being available. So obviously it only comes out on the 24th of July. And we're going to then have about a three week period where we're going to kind of repair all the materials, get it kind of fully um, available, discovered, people sign up for it, etc. So we're going to have the first course running from the 17th of August through to the 21st of August, that first week. And then we're going to repeat that two months after that. And that's the dates of 19th of October through to the 23rd of October. Now, the course itself is available at um, a very reasonable cost, we think. Um, so generally, if you go to Microsoft courses, a free or five day course is going to cost you somewhere in the reason of a couple of thousand pounds. Not significant for many companies to find that cost. So we're going to do that at a price of normally twelve ninety five. But for these first two courses, we're actually reducing that even further and we're making this available at 895. So that's 895 pound inclusive of VAT for attending on this course. So for a five day course at 895, you're roughly kind of doing around about 150 pound kind of uh, day rate for training on a brand new course from Microsoft. So this is going to be extremely cost effective and You'll be able to kind of do that through my company called Beacon Intelligence. This is the data plus train kind of division of that company who provide the videos, training. We're constantly out there as Microsoft certified trainers doing deliveries every day. For example, today I ran a Power BI dashboard in the day course. Last week we were running courses around data platform engineering associate certification. And I've got another one of those tomorrow. So I'm constantly pretty much every week doing three to five days worth of training around these platform technologies. When I'm not doing that training, I'm out consulting on the power platform and data platform technologies. So I've got consultants, um, consultancy work I do for clients around Power BI. My company is also a Power BI partner and a data analytics gold partner with Microsoft. So we kind of know what we're doing and we want to share that expertise and knowledge with you guys. And we're able to do that with some of these Microsoft courses. If you want to find the YouTube channel, it's called Data Train. And I've got a link there and you'll be able to kind of see that in the description below. So go and find the link and, and kind of sign up for that. 
If you have questions, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm Neil underscore Hambly. So that's N-E-I-L underscore H-A-M-B-L-Y. You'll find me uh, followed by about 3,000 odd uh, Twitter followers. Uh, I love to talk about SQL Server. I've been doing this for 20 something years in terms of my career. And I like to present, so I've done 400 plus presentations on kind of SQL Server and those technologies as well. So it's great to see you. Um, Hopefully you will find uh, you in one of my courses soon. If not, good luck with your training. And there's also gonna be additional training videos made available in this channel in future. So see you next time. Thank you.